It is literally so simple, but being militant about implementing this tip has saved me and my students so many points and so much wasted problem-solving time and effort over the years. The question stem varies what you're solving for in a sentence. This means that when you check back at the end of the problem to confirm that you actually solve for the right thing, you have to dig through the question stem and reinterpret what exactly it is that the question is asking. When you write down what you're solving for yourself, you only have to interpret the question once at the beginning of the problem, and then you can write down the pre-parsed question target in a more user-friendly format. So you can write on an equation, x equals question mark, x minus y equals question mark. You can add it to a diagram, a question mark on this angle, a question mark on this part of the Venn diagram. You can add a big circle or a big arrow to draw attention to it so you don't forget about it later on. The question sim is written by the test maker who is literally trying to get you to make a mistake you are on your own side. So for something as important as the thing you're solving for, it's better to rely on yourself. Your own writing will be easier to interpret, easier to remember, and harder to mess up, especially later in the problem solving process when you're further removed from the actual question. So if you wanna score higher and solve math problems more efficiently and effectively, write down what you're solving for and check back with what you wrote down before submitting your answer.